India has just crossed a strategic milestone. The Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO has successfully tested the Agni 5 intermediate range missile. This is not just about range, it's about reach, credibility and a cutting edge capability that only a handful of nations in the world possess. From the launch pad at APJ Abdul Kalam Island in Odisha, the Agni 5 roared into the skies. A thunderous liftoff, tracked by DRDO scientists, marked the test of India's most powerful missile yet. With a strike range of over 5,000 kilometers, Agni 5 puts nearly all of the Asia and parts of Europe within its reach. From Beijing to Shanghai, Islamabad to Tehran, the missile extends India's deterrence footprint far beyond its immediate neighborhood. What makes this test historic is the validation of MIRV or the multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles. In simple terms, one missile, multiple warheads, each hitting different targets. From India's nuclear doctrine, this is a technological game changer. So now let's talk about the MIRV capability that India has just showcased to the world. Now this is a intercontinental ballistic missile which has got three stages, stage one, stage two, stage three. And it is after the stage three that the multiple independently targeted uh, re-entry vehicles enter into the space back to target various targets. So now here we see this is the last stage and uh, ahead of this stage, this one, this is the tip of the missile which is carrying a number of these MIRVs. The missile is traveling at a very high altitude. In fact, it is in the outer space. Once it starts entering, you can see there's a lot of friction which creates a lot of te high temperature and it burns out. Thereafter, releasing number of cones. These are the multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle and they carry the nuclear warheads. Now, once they are released, they independently move towards their respective targets. They have got many uh, propulsion systems right behind uh, each cone. There is a propulsion system which actually propels uh, these cones or the nuclear bombs to various targets in the enemy area. So it makes it very difficult for the enemy to uh, neutralize them, to destroy them. Agni 5 is powered by a three-stage solid fuel engines. Guided by advanced navigation and avionics, it travels at hypersonic speeds and thanks to its containerized design, it can be transported by road or rail and launched at a very short notice, thus ensuring both mobility and survivability. The timing is significant. China has fielded the DF-41 with MIRV capability. Pakistan is expanding its Shaheen and Ababil systems. Agni-5 ensures India's deterrent remains credible, modern, reliable and unmistakably survivable. This missile is the culmination of decades of development. From Agni-1, a short-range weapon, to Agni-2 and Agni-3, the intermediate range, Agni-4, extended range. With each step taken, it has carried India further. The Agni-5 now stands at the apex, intercontinental reach and MIRV equipped. Now let's talk about Agni-5 missile which has been recently tested. It has got an operational range of 5,500 kilometers to 5,800 kilometers. It weighs up to 50,000 kgs and it has got a length of 17.5 meters. It can go up to a speed of Mark 24, which is absolutely hypersonic. It has got three stage uh, booster rockets and all are solid propellant based. It can carry a warhead of 1500 kgs and that has to be nuclear. This is why it is the most deadly arrow in the quiver. India's message remains unchanged to maintain a no first use policy. 
nuclear weapons are not the tools of war fighting but instruments of deterrence. Agni 5 ensures that any adversary contemplating aggression must pause and reconsider. With this test, India joins an elite group. The United States, Russia, China, France and the United Kingdoms. These nations are with credible intercontinental and MIRV technology. It's a mark of maturity of scientific prowess and of strategic weight. Agni 5 is not about aggression, it is about deterrence. It is about ensuring peace through strength. For India, the successful test of its most advanced missile yet is a reminder when it comes to national security, credibility is non-negotiable.